Hello everyone, I'm Katerina from Codacy and I'm here today because we are very excited to announce a new feature that will make your code review process even more seamless. So we are introducing code coverage summary directly on your GitHub as a pull request comment. So you no longer need to leave GitHub to check your code coverage metrics. With our new feature, you have all the information you need right on your workflow. Let's take a look at how it works, but first you need to ensure that you have coverage added to your repository. And in our documentation, we do have a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do this, okay? So let's go back here to our example. When you open a pull request, you'll see a comment from Codacy with a summary of your coverage metrics. This includes coverage before and after the pull request, as well as coverage variation, diff coverage, and even targets on your quality gates. So if you are unsure on how a metric was calculated, you can get more information by expanding the reports and checking out the details. And here you are going to be able to have the coverable lines and the covered lines for that metric and how they changed in the pull request. You'll also have the option to enable and disable the summary comment or to change your quality gates. And if you want, if you want, you can even see your PR on Codacy. Plus, when you open the details and if you are unsure what these metrics mean, we also have a explanation about each of these metrics. Okay, so in this scenario, everything went well. We we're able to calculate the metrics, we we're able to give you all the details and all the reports, but if for some reason we can't calculate your coverage, we'll also show you feedback. So if you go to this example here, uh, if you are unable to calculate the coverage, you are still going to have the coverage summary, and then you are going to have a feedback message. So in this case, saying that the report was missing. This will help you troubleshoot the issue and try to fix and understand what went wrong. So why don't you try it out for yourself and see how you can streamline your code review process? So this new feature will be automatically enabled for every new repository that you add, but for your old repos that you already have to code to see, you are going to need to enable it. But the process is very straightforward and I'm going to show you how. So if you go to a particular repo that you already had in Codacy, you can go to settings and then go to integrations. And here you are going to check a new option called coverage summary that you can put on. And that's it. From this moment on, you are going to be able to check your coverage summary in your GitHub and you don't need to come back to the Codacy UI. So this is it. We are very excited about this feature and we hope you are excited as we are. So using Codacy to track your code coverage will save you time, will improve the quality of your code and will give you peace of mind as well. So try it out for yourself and see how the difference it can make in your code review process. I hope you enjoyed this and have a very nice day. Thank you for choosing Codacy.